Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. We're in my car again. Today we are testing a product that a lot of people are asking for. Today we test this thing. It's a tack visor. This is a polarized car visor so that when you have days like today, it is literally 101 degrees and it is sunny. You don't have to put your sunglasses on. That was that was one of the questions that I had. Why do you need this if you could just put on some sunglasses? Right? Hello? Anybody? Isn't this extra? You already have the sunglasses in your damn car or in your glove compartment. You haven't taken them out in like a year. You might as well just use that. But a lot of you guys want to know about this thing. It comes with a day visor and a night visor. I don't know if you guys can see it. See right there? Obviously it's daytime, so I'm gonna try the daytime visor now. It looks cheap and I haven't even opened it yet and I'm telling you it looks cheap. It looks cheap on the commercial. When I was watching the guy like open it and try to I was like that is a piece of plastic that they're selling you for night like this cost $19.99. Come on now. This should be like 10 bucks, right? $19.99 seems like I mean this was like fancy and kind of blended in with your car meaning like fabric you know like a regular visor would look no but you have this piece of plastic up here now and it's yellow everybody's gonna know everybody's gonna see your shit and be like what the hell why does that guy have a yellow screen in front of his face but whatevs some of you guys don't care about that stuff i do i don't want to look cheesy what if you have a nice car you're not gonna put one of these in it you're gonna just wear your nice sunglasses to match your nice car but fine you forgot your sunglasses you need something like this i don't want to hate on it yet i'm gonna give it a fair shot i just don't get it wear your sunglasses damn it paid enough for them let's open it so you can see what i mean about i mean look at this i mean they don't even need this box seriously this thing is so thin they could practically just print this same thing on an envelope and just give this shit to you in an envelope save me there's the money saver right there you can bring the price down from 19.99 like seriously look Look, they could have put this in an envelope and saved a lot of money. Okay, let's see. There it is, look at it. Seriously, folks. They just put it in this box so it looks like it's a lot, but look at it. That's it, what? Look how thin this is. I'm just saying, I don't need that nice box. You know how many, you could have fit, you could have fit 10 in here of these. But you put one, let's see what this is. Ta-da, what? Is it a mirror? <laughs> okay. They've put some type of plastic on it. We're gonna take that off, obviously. This is nighttime, this is daytime. So it's not as plasticky as the one I saw in the actual infomercial. The one in the infomercial, this was white, but this is clear. So that's not too bad. Put a visor on your visor. Who would have thought? I wonder what it looks like from the outside in. I might step outside and show you guys what this is gonna look like. What else comes in here? Like the manual. If you need a manual for this, we got issues. Okay. Oh, look at it. This is what you're gonna look like if you have this. I guess. I don't wanna put my fingers on it. It's really complicated to install. There's literally a little clip. Look at it. Can you see? You clip that on your visor. Bam. You got it. You're done. I'm gonna charge $100 per installation. Like I have an installation service now. I'm certified, so call me. I'll come over, install these for you. It's a $100 charge to install the advisor. If I bring it in the envelope that I was suggesting, then it's gonna cost you $99. If I bring it in the box, then I'm gonna charge you $100. First, I'm gonna put it up off. Oh, God damn, I'm blind. So I'm gonna show you with the camera so you guys can look at me. Here is the night. I'm just gonna do half of me, look. What do you think? Oh, I'm getting a glare. I'll just do half like that. Yes, no. I can't put it over here. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a glare. Okay, you guys get the idea, right? That was the night one. Okay, let's install this thing and then we're gonna go drive around town with it. I look crazy. Okay. Oh, we got all kinds of issues already. Wait a second. I'm installing this, but I have a mirror up here. 
so I can't flick the mirror up to look at my pretty face. So I'm gonna have to take this off to flip my little mirror in my visor open. I gotta stare at my face all the time. Look at this. They're two different sizes. Look at the size of the night. Look at the size of the day. <laughs> There's my camera on top of my purse. Look how, this is high budget studios. Okay, budget studios, not high budget. There ain't no kind of budget here. Wait, oh, wait a second. I might, I would think I'm doing it wrong. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought you put it in like this. No. Uh-uh. Can you put it from this side? Okay. They don't go flat. If you're tall, you're going to hit your damn head all the time. It's not going to look cute. If you're on a date, do not have the damn thing on. Listen, if you finally got a date on Tinder, don't you dare leave this shit in your car when you go pick her up. You are not about to get another date. I guarantee it. Look, this thing has a glare. I think this is how you're supposed to do it. I still can't open my little mirror no matter which way I put it. But let's check the installation. Okay, so I do have it installed properly. This one. How to install it. So if this is the windshield, right? You have to slide it in like this. Okay, I don't like it. I liked it the other way. But whatevs, we're gonna leave it in like the instructions are telling me. But when you do it like that, it doesn't stay in place. Like, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Actually, let me show you now. Look, it doesn't go flat, see? Why aren't you flat? If you have all 15 of your visors down, you have options. Daytime driving. Okay, oh, so you gotta pull that one up. While you're driving. God, this is so... Listen, if you have one of these, do you, boo? This is tacky as hell. What? I just see yellow, but this is the nighttime one. I don't expect too much of that one now, okay? Maybe you have to lay them flat like this. Or maybe you store them like... No, you can't store them that way. I mean, I was thinking that maybe you could store them like this or both of them this way, but you can't. You see how that won't close? See? But look, it doesn't lay flat. It's still like, what if you're driving? You're like, bam, that's not cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always trying to hook y'all up with some girls and you are not going to get any girls using this thing. I'm just saying, I'm not, you know, whatever. If you have one, look how cute it is. It's not, that's sarcasm. It's not cute. But whatever. This is not about cuteness. I know somebody's going to leave that in the comments. It's not about cuteness. I get it. But I'm just saying. Let me show you guys what it looks like from here. Okay. You see? Look. I can't get to my mirror now. I guess I could scoot it all the way over, but then it won't be center to this. Right? You see? I have it centered. I do not want to move it because... I won't, it won't be centered if I move it this way so it'll get to my mirror. So that's a design flaw. Fix it. So when they're up. That's what they look like. Do you see the problem? Your head. Visor. Your other 50 layers of visor. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Here's the daytime. Oh, I did both of them. Dumb, dumb. Okay, look. So this is day. And then let me show you the nighttime one. Ready? Boom, nighttime. I know, I know. The nighttime is for the nighttime, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like during the day. I mean, I think it gives you a nice effect. I just don't, mm -mm. You're driving, that's what you're gonna look like. If I use both, is that double the filtration? What do you think? Nobody can see your face though. You see how there's a reflection there? You can pull that one up like that, and then here's the nighttime. All right, let's go drive around. I'm not impressed. I don't know, guys. The price, the cheesiness of it, the plasticiness of it, the the bulky, there's just bulkiness. But it's just it, in your like in your you're gonna, you're gonna hit yourself. 
I don't know. Is it functional? Is it doing what they say? I guess. I mean, it improves it a little bit, but that infomercial, you saw all kinds of things through these visors. Damn, I saw Jesus through this. I mean, I'm sure it has some kind of special technology. They said something about military grade Air Force One. No, that's, that's not Air Force One. Military, Air Force, Nighthawk. I don't know what the fuck. You know what I mean. The pilot, the pilots that drive, they don't drive. They fly, the pilots that fly those jets. They're trying to say this is the same technology, whatever. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying I'm not impressed with it. It is too cheapy for the price. It's bulky. It doesn't sit right. There's a couple things I don't like about it. I'll talk about that later. Right now, let's just go drive. Something that I'm noticing when I'm driving and using this thing is that if you click it right here to, I don't know what setting this is, I guess like the middle, but if you click it one back like this, you can see the reflection. I don't know if you can see it now, but you can see the reflection of my shirt. So that is very distracting and not good when you're driving, right? You have to have it in the perfect position so you don't get that glare. If you do it like that, you're gonna get a glare or not a glare but a reflection if you have it like this i haven't noticed the reflection but that ain't good All right, you guys, so that is enough driving around. What can I say about this thing? It's okay. I'm not gonna say it's a total fail. It might help a little bit. I think it's gonna be annoying after a while. I think once you hit your forehead a couple times on it, you're gonna throw it out the window when you're driving home. It just seems like it's in the way. You gotta get used to it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You're gonna have to get used to it because it's weird to have like a screen just right just wear your sunglasses <laughs> i don't get it i don't get it i didn't get it when i bought it i don't get it now even after using it i mean i do see a little bit of improvement when i had the visors down but i don't think it's doing anything more than sunglasses would do i don't want to say it's a piece of junk because someone might need this i don't know who would need this but save your 20 bucks buy you some polarized sunglasses and you'll be fine i think they oversold it in the infomercial it didn't blow my mind i didn't i don't think i was seeing hd i think i was just like it was helping from squinting too much maybe i don't know i'd recommend it at 5.99 how about that if you absolutely have to have it wait till this is 5.99 then buy it but at 19.99 i would say pass I'll go ahead and drive around tonight um, just to get some clips for that, but I think I've pretty much made my decision with this thing. One thing that will probably surprise you is that I actually like the yellow nighttime one more than I did the other one, the daytime one. I don't know, the yellow, the yellow one looked better to me while I was driving during the day, and I know it's the nighttime one anyway. Still not impressed. I still feel exactly like I did six hours ago with the daytime driving. I did not notice any difference besides my view is yellow now. I didn't see an improvement in glare or, you know, like anything. The only thing I noticed was it's yellow. And I even tried to use the daytime one and it made it really dark. So don't do that. So I'm gonna give the tech 
visor to Vivian Heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool Asseen on Television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!